Because, you know, sometimes people at the beginning, they ask, what's that sketching patches thing and what is inside each one of them? So I'm just going to open them real quick. I'm going to explain them. So we've got a series of, of sketching patches and those are a series of tracks that I call them sketching patches or fast action tracks, which basically give us that sound that we need quickly like the you know strings sound that we do you know use a few strings ensemble patches or the orchestral sound or orchestra with choir just by selecting one track hitting that keyboard we get the sound now is this perfect no it's not perfect we don't have control because there's entire orchestra in one hand so if we want to separate things a little bit like we don't have control over that but they give us the the sound quickly so for the orchestral long we have basically strings, brass, woodwinds, choir, and everything that we can put together. This is what we've got, and this is the, what you can see, strings long, string mid legato, brass high long octave, brass low long, woods high long, brass high long, brass long, long nasty, I've got to get rid of this because it adds facing problems, brass mid long, woodwinds high arranged long, and woodwinds low long. Now, the trick is not what patches, it's not just what patches, it is the balance. So, minus 1.1, minus 7.9, minus 6, minus 6, minus 11.3, minus 6, minus 6, so 0 0.3, minus 9.9, .9, minus 8.5. And then I open them a little bit. So, 10 right, 43 left, 1 right, which is center, 1 right, which is center, 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 31 left, center, and center. So, very quickly, for your casual short, you can read the names here, but again, it's just strings, brass, woods, and then piano short is just to add a little bit of hit. Without the piano, with the piano. And here's the balance. I'm just gonna read it quickly. Minus 3.7, minus 7.2. Forget this one. This is nothing. Minus 4.6, it was. It's minus 6.7, minus 10.5, minus 9, minus 13, minus 12, minus 18, minus 1, and minus 4. And then the panning is pretty much center for four of them, except for the strings high short notes that I moved them 34 left. The number one problem with ensemble patches is that they are going to sound like an orchestra and everything is panned properly, but usually when you are mixing, you're gonna open things a little bit farther. At the end of the day, it's good to have control over the different elements so that you can put the trumpets where, exactly where you want. And again, most of the libraries that we use these days, uh, they come already pre-panned every library because they have been recorded in a big space with the surround mics and everything. And when they mixed that down to stereo, it is everything is placed where it should actually sound. But it's still, it's good to open those instruments a little bit to create a little bit of extra space because when it's very different recording an orchestra than using sample libraries. Because when we are using sample libraries, there's a whole lot more stacking and the sound is gonna get way thicker. And it, we're gonna use, we're gonna consume the, the sonic space much faster than when we record an orchestra. So a uh, orchestral mock-up is gonna be thicker. There's a lot of more stacking problems compared to recording an orchestra. So it's, so it's good to have separation because in a way we will have to be a little bit more aggressive with panning than with a real orchestra. So the question is like, I'm using ensemble patches and I understand that uh, when, when when we've got individual patches we can do a little bit of cleanup of that muddy area right carving out a little bit of those 200 and cutting a little bit of, of the low end but when we've got an ensemble patch I don't have control over each individual instrument inside the patch and how do I do that so I get clarity the way usually people will have their template set up is there there's always gonna be a little bit of a cut where you're gonna carve out uh, a little bit of those muddy frequencies in almost every track in the template. And then we're gonna cut a little bit, just cut everything below 20 or a little bit more if it's a naturally high pitched instrument like let's say a Celesta. The way you, you would do this is you'd go here and then you would go to insert effects. So insert effects here and you've got these this eight positions and then there's always going to be free ones except for library like there are some libraries like synth libraries and stuff like this where they have all these with effects but in most of the cases for casual libraries you're gonna have space available so just add effect here and you're gonna add two effects you're gonna add a filter then you're gonna add an EQ but the first filter is gonna be a high pass because we're gonna cut a little bit and we're gonna use the ARHP two fourths. I'm gonna go with this one, which is the soft one, but you can go with a more aggressive one if you want it. Like, let me just show you the difference. You could see the cut, it was a very soft cut. If I go here with the uh, filters, high pass filter, and we go with HP four, 
it's more aggressive as you can see and this is a strings and sample patch so it's gonna have a lot of low frequencies we're gonna cut but not a lot because we don't want to change we don't want to alter we don't want to affect the sound the timbre the natural sound of this instrument so 2030 it's a good spot and then we're gonna load an eq so this is gonna be eq you can do two three band to us one band will do you could do two because sometimes you also have a little bit um in that travel area that you want to get rid of that irritation at around two three k sometimes uh, but usually with one band will do and uh, now with one band same thing we're gonna find that melody frequency and when uh, trying to find the melody frequency uh, i like uh, a chord that is not if, if i do something like this where it's a c whatever chord <laughs> And you start trying to find that frequency uh, sometimes we get confused and we confuse muddy area with first harmonic and so we don't want to do that so i always go with an ambiguous chord or cluster or whatever so there's not a predominant harmonic that's gonna confuse me sonically around 209 maybe yeah and it's just gonna bring it down minus minus 2.8 that's the difference of that notch minus 2.8 uh 209 cycles Usually it's going to sound a little bit thinner. That's 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 okay. That's good. On top of that, we're gonna have reverb. We're gonna have things. Uh, plus, the, we're gonna there, we're gonna have a lot of stacking. Then you can close this. And what I would do is save the individual patch going here, and then save as strings long. This is specific patch, not the multi. Because save multi as would save the entire thing. Save as it's going to save the patch. So you would save this strings long patch and maybe MJEQ or whatever, or whatever, and then you can recall it later if you lose it. <laughs> <laughs> 